mad. Like my skin was clear. Like my skin was good. And now this happens. Hey, vlog number 14, baby. Uh, we got a lot of talking and explaining to do because your girl was on her consistency. And then it just fell off. Ooh, yes, girl. Hi. I'll pay my card, please. Okay, I'll play my card. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. She still didn't say thank you back or you're welcome or anything. It's so not Canadian and Tim Hortons like. Anyway, every time I come to this Tim Hortons, this lady just starts laughing or like smiling at me a lot i don't know it's it's that lady and some next lady and i'm just like girl like i don't know what to tell you maybe i just look funny i don't know what it is anyways the smell of this ice cap and this espresso is already hitting your girl all right let me just try to well i'm not even parking properly um so let me explain something to you real quick Oh my God, but take in this eyes. All you gotta do is smell it. Oh! So let me tell you what happened. I put my water bottle on, on the roof as I'm loading up the car. Get into the car, have my phone synced up. Everything is all willy nilly. Your girl starts driving and then all I hear is, and I'm like, whoa, let me, what the hell just happened? Like, is my trunk open? What is, like, what? Get out of the car, lo and behold, water is everywhere, and my bottle is in three pieces. So, that was disgusting, but it was one of those moments where you're just like, yo, are you gonna cry about it, or are you gonna laugh about it? I'm convinced I needed that to happen in order to laugh, because, <laughs> Let me just not. Anyway, I'm gonna explain what's been going on and all that stuff, but first things first, somebody. Oh my god, this guy's getting closer. Do you guys hear that? Oh my god, brother, it's so unnecessary. Wait. Oh my gosh, uh, Oh, wait. Okay, I guess I have to go because this man is not letting me do any of the audio what the heck okay so you already know what it is your girl's gonna be doing some errands vlog number 14 Ooh, do i know how to drive d is for drive yes oh my god okay you win i'm leaving i don't know if you guys can see this guy but by, by the time i turn but like do you guys see him do you guys see him do you guys see him most likely yeah you guys see the guy what's going on <laughs> Now, let's try this again. Also, how are you guys feeling the shades? They're new. Um, let me just woosa one time for the one time. I may have mentioned this earlier or not. I'm not entirely sure. But I was just going through the motions. Because when I tell you what is going on right now has been taking a toll on me. Like, I'd be sitting here and lying if I said it didn't. I appreciate all the information that we're exposed to and all the information that is being shared that I'm sharing and things like that. But sometimes, sometimes we need a break. <laughs> like, And I feel like I'm gonna make a point to just get off of social media for a couple, for actually not even a couple, for a few hours during the day because I just find that like literally from morning to when I go to bed, uh, I'm just angry, I'm sad, like it's just, so much anyway the channel was consistent i mean for majority of may and i thought i was gonna kind of like you know do the same for like june and stuff and you guys have been like so supportive and so engaged with like my content that i've been doing recently as far as like the um hauls that i've been doing which i've been loving lately i just want to add that in there hold on i feel like it's way too bright now i know you guys peeped the boohoo bag in the back but that all of this has got to go i just never been so disappointed on a purchase like ever like i can promise you guys i've i've done online shopping before plenty of times um but with this experience ugh. 
If you haven't watched that haul, I'll leave it in the card um, on the screen here, but I'll also leave it in the description box below. Your girl's been like tagging things because I think one of like the biggest things that, um, or the biggest feedback I get on my channel from you guys that watch is I don't leave links or tags of things that I'm featuring or I'm talking about and stuff like that. So I'm gonna make, I'm, I make it a point to be like thoroughly, I thoroughly look at the description box uh, to make sure that I put in everything that I mentioned. So if you haven't watched that video, I'll link it there and then that link has all the clothes that I've tried on. But yeah, like majority of you guys said in those comments, there was only like three items that I decided to keep. The white sandals being one, the black everyday bag being another, and the black dress that my fiance and I really, really liked. And that everything else is, was a pretty, was a, it was a waste is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, everything that's been going on, I've been trying my best to be like, okay, well, how can I do my part in helping and I've been kind of like second guessing like where I'm actually putting my hard earned money towards like you know what I mean if there is a black business that I could support then I'm gonna do that somebody put together beauty supply hair stores um, all throughout Toronto like all throughout the city that are owned by black businesses and I was just like yo number one let me repost this ASAP number two let me check for a location that's close to me lo and behold there's one closer to the more popular ones if you know what i mean hey sir what's up i'm listening not not you siri there's a sir anyway so what <laughs> you know I, I was talking to my good sis tim beat this morning um one she misses you guys two once this is over we're gonna get her back on the channel don't worry um but we were talking this morning and you know it's good to kind of check in on your friends and your family about things that are happening right now that are frustrating you and <laughs> I don't miss a beat and neither does she when it comes to like you know hitting each other up about that stuff and so um, I sent her this one thing that I was dealing with this morning <laughs> And uh, we got to talking and she was, she even said it herself, she's like, you know, after work one day, she she was gonna go to uh, the beauty supply hair store, one of the bigger popular ones. And she was just like, no, 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 no. I'm gonna do my part, try to find a black owned store and I'm gonna support that business, period. And now that I think of it, like I come from a family and different family members that have had their own businesses so it's just like why wouldn't you not want to support a black owned business so I'm here at one of the black owned stores that 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 Instagram page I don't know the name of the Instagram page but I promise you guys I will leave it in the description box below it literally gives a list of locations in Scarborough locations uh, downtown locations in North York no locations in the West end of Toronto like in the Mississauga area the, for those of you guys that are in Toronto you guys know what I'm talking about so if you want to go ahead and support you know black owned businesses in the beauty community I'll leave it in the description box below but also don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well because I'll share it on there as well I'm also not entirely sure what I need to pick up typically I like to make a list before I go to the beauty supply hair store but I don't know I just feel compelled to just Whatever dollars I got, I'm giving it to them, period. Like, I just don't know what it is. Anyway, um, and this is not gonna be like a one-time thing. Trust and believe. Any single, any time I need to pick up hair extensions, got to be glue, or whatever the case may be, trust and believe I'm going to these people. And that's on period, poo, so let's go. Cause everybody's at this red light and all they're doing is staring at me. Activate shades. So we are here at the black owned beauty supply hair store. Number one, super clean. Let me show you guys around. Also, don't worry about my breakouts. I'm kind of dealing with it. Um, but yeah, check this place. Oh, I honestly feel like I'm in a candy store. Can you tell I'm excited? Can you guys tell I'm excited? So I'll leave the information of this location right over here and in the description box below. Go check them out. Great, super warm, super inviting. 
this is what this is exactly what I need today. This is better than the ice cap that I just had. I promise you guys. I promise you. Anyway, okay, let's check them out. Yo, I did not know they had shea butter here. Oh. I used to actually do this protein treatment a couple of times. Um, so I'm actually gonna do it again. I'm gonna pick this up too. Just finished shopping. So the owner was there and I introduced myself. I was a bit nervous and she kind of looked at me and I kind of looked at her and I was just like, do you know what I'm about to say? And she's like, I have no idea. But I guess I just walked in there like really, like with a big smile, I guess. I don't know what it was, but she was just like, hi and i'm like well i heard about you on instagram and um i just wanted to support you and uh, uh like if it wasn't social distancing i would have like ran and given her a hug the store is extremely clean and organized um she was super friendly her name is comfort um i introduced myself she introduced herself i told her how i found out about her business and i told her what i was about and uh she was more than happy if I filmed and linked her business and stuff like that. So shout out to her. I think I I think I think I found my new best friend, but she doesn't really know that. So we'll keep it on the hush. But like <laughs> she's super super friendly. Um we kind of got talking a little bit here and there and stuff like that. Uh she's been here for about 8 years and I had no idea. And when I was talking to Timby this morning, I was just like Timby before YouTube, before social media got like really, really intense. Wow, this family is legit looking at me. <laughs> Yo, oh God. Anyways, they're still at the red light. Oh. I forgot what I said. That family completely distracted me. And they had such a cute kid in the backseat. Oh my God. I feel like I had a good point before that family distracted me. You also what happens when you vlog. Like, honestly, I get so nervous and I get so tongue-tied sometimes like when I vlog that I'm just like, ah, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. But yeah, my gosh, that made my day. And I don't think she knows that she made my day because I honestly thought that this ice cap, you already know the reaction I had when I smelt this ice cap. But just walking into her store, her looking at me like, what is this girl, why is this, what is going on? And I'm just like, well, hi. And then she asked me some questions. She's like, are you on Instagram? Like, I was just like, yeah, I was going to do this thing with yeah, with the hair stuff and I do some makeup stuff and I do some skincare stuff and blah, 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 boop, blah, 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 boop. I got so nervous. Anyways, talking to Timby, this is what I was going to say before that family distracted. When I was talking to Timby, I was just like, bruh, how, like think about how much money we spend just on hair products alone alone like we used to take field trips just her and i just be, be like yo you want to just walk into the hair store just because and i'd be like yeah why not <laughs> when we were talking she was just like i don't even want to think about how much money i've contributed to <laughs> the hair store anywho knowing what we know now we're going to now shift where our money goes and it might be like a little little shift in our routine but a shift nonetheless so i'm happy about it Shout out to the family that distracted my train of thought. And let's get into it. What do we got to do next? I got to pick up some stuff from my parents' house. And um, after that, yeah, we're going to return all of this boohoo. This ice cap is hitting your girl strong. And I got the birthday Timbit. And maybe that's why they laugh at me because I only order one Timbit. I don't know, but these girls go giggly giggly when I pull up. And I'm just like, do we know each other from like Timbuktu? I don't know. Anyways, let me get this GPS going because I don't know where I am. And yeah, let's go to La Casa, a la my parents. <laughs> so I just got out of the shower. So my face is feeling a little tight because I just washed my face. And these past couple of videos, I think I've mentioned my breakouts around my face quite a lot. Um, and since then, my breakouts have been happening like a lot more. <laughs> um, but also, I've been trying to think in like, what could be the cause of my breakouts? What have I changed in my diet? What have I changed with like my drinking water habits? Like what 
have I done differently? Like what products I'm using, what products I'm not using. Um, and since I've like taken a bit of a break with everything that's been going on from recording, I haven't been putting on makeup. I've been putting maybe a little bit of concealer when I go out or when I was doing the vlogs with you guys yesterday and on Monday, but like legit my face has not has been constantly like breaking out um specifically around this area and if you watched like previous videos and vlogs i said it's just this area so i was thinking like wait could this be because of these masks that i've been wearing and honestly like the mask literally covers this area so i'm thinking it could be the mask and I do have sensitive skin, so I honestly think it's the mask that I've been wearing. So I really have to do a little bit more research of what material my skin can take and what my and what material my skin can't take. So aside from that, what I've been using lately is some clay masks. So today I'm going to be using this blue clay. It's a detoxifying treatment mask, and it's by Herbivore. I'm pretty sure you can find these. Uh, at Sephora and I've been actually using quite a bit of it uh, I didn't know how much I actually used up but I have a little bit left and so I really want to try to kind of focus on this area right over here because it's just you know when breakouts happen and like you feel it like pulsating almost like that's how these breakouts been making me feel and I've been drinking literally a gallon of water a day like without a like that Starbucks cup that I have like the venti size is about 20 ounces and I have about six of those so I'll insert a picture right over here of what my face has been looking like and today just waking up I saw a bit of a difference so I'm going to put the clay mask on let my skin rest put some toner and then put some SPF and some moisturizer on, and I should be good to go. And hopefully by the end of this week, um, I'll start using like brightening masks to kind of remove the dark heads that are happening, like the dark spots that are being created on my face. Because man, like my skin was clear, like my skin was good, and now this happened. So I'm going to take the mask, I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to it, Again, if you don't have this mask, I would recommend using like any um, clay clay mask that you have on hand and use apple cider vinegar because that's been helping me out a lot as well. Um, I just decided to use this mask because I had it on hand. Oh, and let me give you guys a bit of a close up of what the breakout looks like. Sorry if my skin's been feeling or looks really tight it's because oh my god it's because my skin is super dry because I just finished cleansing it so this is what so right over here is where these breakouts have been happening on my face <laughs> now that we got that out of the way I'm going to apply the clay mask also if you're a guy watching this please believe that clay masks do work wonders um for guys as well like i put this on my fiance not this specifically but the other one the the healing clay with the apple cider vinegar and like it legit the next morning he's glowing and i'm like wait did you shave like what did you do different And I have a little bit left over and I have a bit of breakouts that happen on my forehead but typically the breakouts that happen on my forehead are just an indicator that girl <laughs> your period's coming so it's not so much now because I'm not due for like a couple of weeks but um, I am seeing a bit of a breakout here but just it's just not as bad as my cheek uh, around my mouth area so, and typically when I put on face masks, especially 
um, a clay mask. I try my best not to speak while it's drying. So I'm going to respond to a few emails, um, get some editing done, and then I'll come back, wash this off, and I'll show you guys what I've been doing after I remove my clay mask. And I've been doing this almost every other day. I like to give my skin a bit of a breather, but as far as like the toners that I use and things like that, I like to make sure that I do that every day so that there's not a bunch of gunk around the area that I'm breaking up, if that makes sense. All right guys, I will see you guys in a bit. So I just washed off the clay mask. So next I'm gonna be taking the Ola Hendrickson Fat Glow Mask and I'm going to apply it all over my face. This is an amazing mask. It makes my skin feel so nice and smooth. And actually, it smells really pretty too. So I'm just gonna apply that. So I'm gonna leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes and then I'm going to rinse it off. Okay, so we are back and I am ready to remove the mask off my face. It's kind of like dissolved and seeped into my skin or certain parts, my forehead is like completely dissolved. But anyway, I'm going to remove it and then we are gonna go into the next step, which has been helping me so much. Okay, let's do this. So the next product I'm going to use is also by Ola Hendrickson and it's the Glow 2 OH Dark Spot Toner. So this is perfect because around the area where I'm breaking up, I do have some dark spots that I want to remove. So I'm going to use this and I used to actually use a cotton pad but I can't, I've been doing this lately because I'm like, I don't want the product or too much other product to be on the cotton pad. I want it all to be on my skin. So I've been doing this. But especially target the problem area that I have. Whew. So we're almost done. <laughs> so I'm gonna let that kind of settle into my skin before I moisturize. So next I'm gonna take my SPF and I'm just going to apply some of that to my skin. I may or may not be going outside today. I might go for a walk, I'm not sure, but it's always good to put on SPF. So I'm gonna take another moisturizer. It's also by Ola Hendrickson, and it's the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream, and it's packed with vitamin C. So I'm just going to just take a little bit around and moisturize. Oh, it makes my skin feel so smooth. If you notice, I didn't put anything under my eye because I ran out of eye cream. So typically what I like to do at this point is put on an eye mask. So I'm gonna go and get my eye mask and I'm gonna apply it and leave it on for about 15 minutes. Okay, so this eye mask is different from the one that I used in my last vlog, so I'll link it down below. I also got this from Amazon. So, ooh, I'm just going to apply it underneath my eye. I just have to go run and get it from the fridge. You guys already know I have a little section in the fridge for eye masks and face masks, so just a little bit of a tip for you guys if you apply on an eye mask. Oh yes. Honestly, the cooling sensation is everything. Holy smokes, especially if you have like puffy under eyes. It's like the best. My under eyes get super puffy in the morning, like normal, but it's super dry all day. So it's really important that I keep my under eyes hydrated because if they're dry, I constantly keep rubbing them and it's not good. <laughs> oh, this feels amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit for about 15 minutes and I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the hair store. So we are back and I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the hair store the other day. So I kinda of went in there a little 
blindly like I didn't have a list or like a product in mind that I want to get but I'll show you guys what I got so this Apogee protein treatment I got I always like to get the sample because it's a six week treatment and I have enough product and not enough shelf space so I got this it's a two-step protein treatment and I remember it's smelling really really bad like this part of the treatment um, but it stops breakage so I'm going to try that again so that's one item I got the second item I got I didn't really need but I feel like I'll need at some point so it's just regular Pantalon braiding hair in color 1B <laughs> I don't know. I figured I'm gonna use it at some point. Why not? Oops. All right, another item I picked up was, uh, it says jaw clips, but I've been seeing this a lot online and um, it's better than, I feel like these have a better grip when you're styling your hair or you're styling your wigs in my case. I kind of wanted like the nice taupey pink, but they only had black and I've tried to buy it off of Amazon, but they only have black or bright pink, and that's not what I wanted. So when I saw these, I was just like, yes, I'll get these from here. And they were about $6.99, so not too bad. It's like the same price I've been seeing on Amazon. Um, so yeah, so these are the jaw clips. I didn't know they were called jaw clips, but they kind of look like it if you think about it. But these are everywhere. You know what the, like, at the counter where you have, like, impulse buys? I saw this lip gloss, and it says it's by NK Makeup, and it's a lip gel with vitamin E, and it's coconut. <coughs> so clumsy today. Holy smokes. Let me... Oh, it smells like coconut. Luscious. <laughs> right in my bag too that's awesome okay so next item I got is a bonnet because I don't know I figured you can't really go wrong with having bonnets multiple bonnets at the house so I got this in a bright pink because it was either bright pink or red no bright pink red and white and I was just like no I'll just go with the bright pink oh and then I got a rat tail comb I burnt my rat tail comb Oh, when I was trying to straighten one of my wigs, it was really, really bad. So, so I figured let me just get an extra one. It's always good to have around the house. And oh, the last item I got is the LA Pro Girl um, concealer, but it's their color corrector, and it's the one in orange. So I've never tried the color corrector from LA Pro Girl. I've always used the one from Mac Cosmetics but I recently threw that out because I thought that that was causing my breakouts. Um, so that kind of sucks. That's why I had to replenish, but I figured you can't really go wrong with this. And I've been seeing uh, a bit of a tip where you color correct and to avoid your foundation looking orange or whatever shade you use to color correct, set it with powder first and then apply your foundation, which I, discovered <laughs> by watching RuPaul's Drag Race, so shout out to them. But yeah, so that's all the items that I got from the hair store. So again, I'll link all the products that I used on my face in the description box below and also the store that I went to get all these products if you guys are interested and you guys are in the Toronto area and want to support a black owned business. <coughs> my face feels so hydrated. I'm living. These are kind of sliding down, which is really annoying. <laughs> Hold on. Let me adjust. Oh, this feels so good. So I think I'm going to end the vlog right over here. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button. It would mean a lot. And if you guys have any video suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. That's a really good lip gloss. Oh my god, look at this. Look at my skin, girl. Now it's just like three dots. 
my lips look luscious oh i'm gonna eat i'm gonna edit this and everything's gonna be great and i'm gonna clean this mess behind me it's gonna be a great day i gotta eat though holy smokes i haven't eaten what is up with this camera let me just take this off oh my god oh my god we are slowly getting there slowly but surely we will get there